Hi, Daphne. Hi, hi, guys. It's very late here where I live, of course. I don't know where everyone is. So I got agitated, you know what, like a bit irritated about something. And I thought I just have to bring it into uh, some attention because um, I made a video last week, of course, and uh, not everyone was agreeing with what I was saying in that video. Uh, but I just want to show one or two things about a discussion that I had with a colleague. You know, of course, I speak with uh, sh um, Zimbabwean people. I speak with British people, a lot of people, and of course I'm in also some networks in the Netherlands and where we talk about um, children's health, babies, and baby wearing, co-sleeping. So I wanted to show you uh, a post that I saw this afternoon and it got into my attention, of course, was when it comes to sleeping with babies in Africa, you know. Okay, if you read this part, I hope when you're watching, even tomorrow, you take your time later, just read this very well. The idea that co-sleeping is in, uh, inherently dangerous for babies is an urban myth. Generations of parents have been made to feel guilty if they cuddle up to their children at night. Even though they may get more sleep, breastfeeding is easier. Crying rates are drastically reduced, right? Babies breathe more steadily. Sleep hormones are stimulated. Baby's core temperature is regulated by skin-to-skin -skin contact. Parental confidence is boosted and it becomes possible to react swiftly in a crisis right so um what irritates me is that uh, like okay um these things we have been practicing them in in africa for decades and of course all mammals practice such things and what happens in the western cultures is they kind of Maybe not believe, but they know that these things have been practiced when they were young. And, I mean, when long back in years ago, decades ago, of course, until people like Queen Elizabeth came with uh, uh, prems on wheels. They introduced new things and start doing researches. So after some researches, I think people tend to then uh, change their ideas of uh, they kind of forget their feelings, you know, how they feel, uh, parents um, who are following some system, who are being uh, coordinated and uh, being told this is not what you're supposed to be doing, this is what you're supposed to be doing in the following systems all the time. Then they forget to, 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 to sense their feeling. They, they forget the sense of feeling. And, of course, uh, by after giving birth and you immediately take your baby away from yourself and you maybe give it the baby someone else or you bring the baby to another bed mm -hmm. instead of sleeping with the same with the baby or maybe not baby wearing or breastfeeding it means you are taking away something that the baby needs but yourself as well so hey what i'm seeing now is like when things things are um mostly uh believed after a research in western countries yet in africa we have been practicing this for a long time and of course after colonization uh, you see that um, people in africa also they they kind of believed what european or western people say and then they forget their own old culture of uh, carrying babies and sleeping with the babies and so so this afternoon, this lady was trying to say that um, she was confused about the fact that to hear people argue about why is it sleeping with your baby in the same bed, why could that be dangerous? And some people are still saying it's still dangerous. So people still are still arguing about that. 
Yes, and um, I don't know how, how to explain that. And then when I come in and I say nothing is new for anyone, this exists for ages and for years. Africans um, uh, sleep together in a hut with a much more ventilated, well ventilated natural system. And uh, what happens in the Western culture is that uh, people come up with new ideas, new things, and they kind of research. So I was responding to my colleague here. And then after responding, she went on defending herself. Melissa, this has been also happening in the Netherlands for years. Of course, that's what I said. But then what happens, what changes, is then the Europeans, the Western people, they drop the natural way of getting along with babies. Which is confusing then because when you go to Africa, these things are still happening. So they still have, they have to relearn how to do this. And how do they relearn? They don't want to listen to what African people say. They research, they do the researches and they, they believe after a research. But that takes a long time because they are killing babies. They are actually, eh, those people who are waiting for the, for a research moment, they are, they are not allowed to practice such things. So for me, it's, um, it's a bit irritating, I have to say, because um, that's the reason why you saw that I made a video last time trying to explain that um, you, we Africans, we have been practicing such things. We have been carrying babies for decades. We have been sleeping with our babies in the same bed, cuddling them, um, giving them breastfeeding, giving them all the attention that we could give, and of course, caring them at all the time, most of the time, of course. So what I want, the, the, the message I want to give to my African uh, people right now is, uh, whenever you see someone carrying a child, a baby, whenever you see someone breastfeeding, encourage them to do so. There is nothing Western that you can follow so far, especially those uh, commercial things like, um, uh, instant milk, um, formula, you call it, right? You have formula, yeah. Of course, as for me, I know breastfeeding. Um, and of course, uh, buying a bigger house so that a baby has his own ra room to sleep. Make sure that mother knows enough information about how to, uh, why they should be together with the baby for a certain period. And of course, we need to encourage companies in the future in Zimbabwe, for instance, that when mothers are going to work they need to be supported they need enough support so they can breastfeed their own children yeah that's what i wanted to share with you guys and um so you know we can wait until things are being researched and then being discovery discovered yet you have been practicing it for a long time so believe in what you have been doing for years in Africa. And if you have stopped doing that because you thought Western culture has taught you another way and maybe Western way is the richer way or no, 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 no. What mamas have been doing in Africa or other countries, I think is the best. And you should be trying to uh, follow that and get yourself educated about your culture, about how we were doing it in the years ago and if you know someone elder ask those people hey hi chris how are you so yeah i get uh, irritated so much uh, about what happens in the western countries and they keep on doing researching about breastfeeding baby wearing co-sleeping and discussing endlessly about it and then one is allowed to do so the other one is not allowed in the commercial companies in between and things like that so Yes, so we need to teach our African people to keep um, keep the natural way of uh, getting along with the babies. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, we hope the Europeans are still going to keep learning and do less research and uh, start feeling, feeling instead of thinking with your head, start thinking, feeling with your body. And when you give birth to a child, you can actually feel, you can sense the baby if there's anything, you know, so... Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I don't want to make my video very long. And um, uh, it's been almost 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'm tired. Yesterday I had a long night. But anyway, this, this is the information I wanted to pass. 
and thank you so much it's about co-sleeping co-sleeping is like uh, a mother and a baby they sleep close to one another when the mother is breastfeeding and when the mother just gave birth you don't want to keep on walking from your bedroom to another bedroom to feed your baby keep on walking because the babies in the when they just born they cry a lot so that's rather uh stressful and uh that's also stressful for the relationship and i think a man who is educated about the birth of his baby especially when you live in the diaspora it's very important even in africa no matter how many women how many parents are there to help you get involved in how, how when the baby is um is born when the your, your wife is pregnant and make sure you have information about how natural you can get along with your own family which is very important so thank you so much my name is melissa budding i'm very tired and uh, bye bye love you all and that's why i give this information as well not because all of you not not because you don't know but we sometimes look too much up to western cultures yet we already know so many, so much, and um, we have to believe. You have to believe in yourself, and you have to research again and what we are doing very well in Africa. And for my European friends, I think you can learn a lot from African people and don't look down upon them. And you African people, make sure you stand strong. You know what you're doing is already okay. But when you're, when you're doubting, make sure you get into a discussion and you you find out what it is that is missing very important okay i talk too much again bye bye take good care of yourself love you